I'm Clara. Today we'll focus on the large power laser source, like more than 10,000 watt. With the increasingly high processing requirements of laser products, the demand for high power 10,000 watt lasers has become a general trending. However, in face of a wide variety of 10,000 watt lasers in the market, how to choose a suitable one? There are still many confusions. This video will take three parts to help you find the one. Attention, the majority of today's video comes from Rikas. We all know Rikas is the leading brand of industry lasers in China. If you want to know more about Rikas, please click the link below in the description. Before get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you. Number one, does the higher the power, the higher the processing efficiency? This is not the case in reality. It depends on the configuration of the core components of the laser, which include active fiber, pump source, high power combiner, etc., and the mental type and thickness. First, the configuration of the core components of the laser affects the processing efficiency to a certain extent. More advanced core components and their matching can achieve a higher processing efficiency than other brands of lasers with the same power. To put it simply, we still recommend the more mainstream brands and do not favor some niche brands because of price issues or other factors. Secondly, it's necessary to measure according to the type and thickness of the sheet processed. And there are many factors that determine the process efficiency. Therefore, it's impossible to compare the process efficiency just by looking at the power. Let's take a look at the comparison of the cutting effects of Rikers 12,000 watt, 20,000 watt, and 30,000 watt for a carbon steel with different thicknesses. It can be seen from the table the efficiency of 30,000 watt by compressed air for cutting 10 mm carbon steel is increased by 25% compared with that of 20,000 watt. Although the efficiency is improved, the advantages are not very obvious. However, the advantages of 25 mm carbon steel are obvious. The efficiency of 30,000 watt is 114.3% higher than that of 20,000 watt. Therefore, from the practical application, we should choose the laser according to the type and thickness of the processing place. If mostly thin place, a 10,000 watt can meet the processing efficiency to the greatest extent. If the processing of medium and thick place is mostly or the processing volume is large, higher power can be selected. Number two, under the same power is the smaller the fiber core the better. Have you ever heard the topic that smaller fiber core means high brightness? Is it correct? High brightness lasers are closely related to the BPP value of the beam parameter. BPP equals omega zero times theta, where omega zero is the beam waste radius and theta is the far field divergence angle of the laser beam. The lower the BPP value, the better the beam quality. Brightness is defined as the power per unit area and unit solid angle. Brightness equals P divided by pi times BPP squares. There are two prerequisites for achieving high brightness. One is to increase the laser power and the other is to improve the beam quality. Both single or combined improvements can improve the brightness of the laser. Of course, there are many ways to improve the power, but the beam quality is not the same. It doesn't mean the smaller the fiber core diameter, the higher the beam quality. 
because the fiber core diameter cannot be equal to the beam waist diameter. The BPP value can be reduced and a better beam quality can be achieved by two factors. That is, the fiber core is reduced and the beam far field divergence angle isn't increased both at the same time. In the applications of ultra high power fiber lasers, what customers need is the improvement of efficiency, which can be achieved in two aspects. One is to improve the electro optical conversion efficiency of the fiber lasers so as to save electricity and cost. The other is to comprehensively improve efficiency. Laser processing is a systematic project. Only the machine tool, system, gas path, cutting head, laser source plate, and the parameter settings are multi-dimensionally matched. The utilization of the equipment can be truly improved and the optimal benefits can be created. Number three, under the same power single module, not module, the module composition of fiber lasers is divided into two types, single module and multi-module. In cutting applications, the focused spot has a great influence on the quality of cutting. Single module 10,000 watt lasers use single fiber application to reach the 10,000 watt level. It has a nearly Gaussian distribution and the energy is relatively concentrated. Generally, the mod conversion method is used to achieve the beam homogenization effect and the effect is greatly affected by the consistency. Multi-module 10,000 watt lasers generally use multiple 2,000 to 6,000 watt optical modules to combine beams, which realizes the superposition of multiple beams and naturally forms a homogenization effect with good consistency. The advantage of the single module 10,000 watt laser is the speed for cutting medium and thin plates compared with a regular single module 20,000 watt and multi-module 20,000 lasers for cutting stainless steel less than 20 millimeter by nitrogen or compressed air the single module 12,000 watt cast efficiency is better than multi-module 12,000 fiber laser the multi-module 10,000 watt laser has better beam homogenization effect, which makes the advantage of thick plate cutting quality more obvious. Some customers have very high requirements for processing cross section, so they will still prefer multi-mod fiber lasers. So could you figure out how to choose a suitable 10,000 watt laser source? We can comprehensively measure it from three aspects, our processing requirements, budget, and service. Thank you for joining me here today. Please leave it in the comment below if you have anything to share with me. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you, bye.